Uh, we really need a balance between our body and our mind. So, you know, there are certain decisions that you need to make from the mind. Like if you're in an abusive situation, you need to go, oh, this is really bad. I need to be out of it. Doesn't matter how I feel about this person. At the same time, sometimes you're in love with someone and no one gets it. And you go like, but it makes sense to me. And I love this person. This is what I need to do. And that decision is heart driven and not head driven. So we need both the heart and the mind and we need a balance between them. And we need to know what to trust when. And that's part of the semantic intelligence wisdom, right? Is to know and to separate that. What I will say, it's not so much that is the heart is not reliable, is that we are overthinking. So what did happen to us is that we didn't disconnect just from the heart, but also from the body. Most of the work that I do with the executive clients is teaching them how to feel and embody what they feel and what they want in their life. There's normally a gap where they're a lot in the mind, they're thinking, and they're not landing into their body. I was with another client. There are a lot of clients these days. It was another client I was with the other day, and um, she gets a lot of anxiety about different things that are happening in her life. And really, when she gets into anxiety, the energy shoots up. She's a lot in her mind. She's thinking a lot, and then she triggers even more anxiety. And what I'm doing with her is practicing of bringing the energy back to the body and into the base and then learning to calm down the system to feel more than think. And that situation, we want to feel more than think. Feel is not just the heart. It's to feel in the old body. We have sensations. We have emotions. It's an organism that speaks to us all the time through emotions and sensations, which is, by the way, again, something that we teach in the emotional resilience essentials, how to understand and how it communicates with us and how to interpret those. So when the body communicates with us, we need to learn how to pay attention. That's part of what we do in the coaching is I teach how to really pay attention and how to understand and then how to make better decisions as a result, how to set up healthier boundaries and so on. You know, as someone, and I just want to share something that comes from me is that my experience has been completely at one point in my life disembodied. I was away from my body. The only way that I could survive my reality was to not feel because being in my body and feeling the pain and the sadness, you know, and everything that was going on due to my mom's mental illness was just too much. Like I, I couldn't take it in. Like the body couldn't take in so much pain and so much sadness and so much rejection. And, and um, really when, when that happened, I disassociated from the body. I cut something to not have to feel. And that reflected in my life, like in relationships and how I was able or not able to advance in my career towards what I wanted. Like there were limitations in my life. So to be able to come back home, to land into my body, to land into my core, I think in my opinion, now is the best time of my life. And I see a lot of people that are going like, oh my God, I wish I come back to my twenties. It was the best time ever. And thinking all the suicidal thoughts that I had and how disembodied I was and how painful it was in my body. I'm like, thank you, but no, thank you. <laughs> like, you know, so really the way I feel now, I really feel like wine that gets better with time where I can really, um, I can really feel that I am now home with myself and I feel um, deeply proud of who I have become and even if something doesn't happen, it doesn't impact my self-worth. So when our self-worth is not high enough, when we're not in a good place, then things that don't work out mean something about us. But when we're in a good place and we have such strong emotional anchors and all that, something that doesn't work is just something that didn't work. And now let me try another way or try a different thing. And that's really important because that really impacts self-worth. So I feel like my self-worth is in such a high place. And I feel like I'm delivering a lot of value to the world only because I'm in a good place. And I can really see the journey that it took to get here. I'm really hoping to save all of you 20 to 25 years of getting there and understanding how to do it.